The Will of D is one of One Piece's greatest mysteries. Those who carry the D initial in their names tend to be at the center of massive world-shaking events. They're also known to be the enemies of the gods, while also said to have a checkered fate. This mystery becomes even greater when you consider the fact that D bearers come in all shapes and sizes. And while we wait for the reveal of the truth behind the Will of D, let's take a look at all the known characters confirmed to carry this initial. Starting with the series protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy, and the current youngest known carrier of this D initial. Luffy arguably embodies the Will of D when talking about being at the center of world-shaking events, possibly more so than anyone seen on this list. Luffy declared war on the entire world government by burning down their flag at any lobby, defeating CP9 with his crew to take Nico Robin back. At Saobodi Archipelago, Luffy punched a celestial dragon. These figures who are considered untouchable and thus his assault on Charlos being enough for the navy to send one of the powerful and high-ranking members, Admiral Kizaru. He then infiltrated and escaped Impel Down, freeing some of the world's most dangerous criminals to then take center stage at the Marineford War. On top of all of these, Luffy took down three of the seven warlords of the sea, defeating Crocodile Gecko Moria and Don Quixote do Flamingo. Luffy also led an alliance that ended the reign of two of the most powerful pirates in history, Kaido and Big Mom. Because of his actions, Luffy was assigned a bounty of 3 billion berries by the world government and is considered one of the four most powerful pirates in the series known as the Yonko. With his now awakened devil fruit and his ever growing influence, this surely makes Monkey D. Luffy the most prominent of all the D's. And before we go to the next D clan member, let me introduce you to another clan, or should I say, another alliance, My Alliance Joy Girl, which you can join in the fantastic game and our sponsor for this video, Call of Dragons. Call of Dragons is a new fantasy adventure strategy game in a magnificently developed world. With deep lore and exciting challenges, you have so much to explore and battle against, but the greatest task of all is facing the behemoths. There are eight different types of terrifying behemoths, each with their own unique guild versus environment, combat instances, and attack patterns. But once you defeat one of these fearsome beasts, you can actually tame them so that they form part of your alliance, becoming your secret weapon as you face other alliances. And once you obtain a behemoth, it'll be your much beloved companion. My favorite part of the game is all the side quests that you can go on, meeting all sorts of interesting characters. And I also really appreciate that Call of Dragons automatically translates other players' messages into your native language so that there's no barrier for our alliance. So what are you waiting for? Download Call of Dragons from the link in the description below and if you can, join my alliance, Joy Girl. Every download on your PC helps this channel, so make sure to download and start playing now. Going from the youngest to the earliest carrier of the D initial that we know of is Nefertari D. Lily. Lily was the queen of the Arabasta kingdom during the Void Century and a part of the 20 monarchs that founded the world government. However, for a yet unknown reason, Lily refused to become a world noble. Being one of the most impactful moments in history in terms of world-shaking events, Lily was responsible for scattering the poneglyphs around the world, which holds the key to uncovering the world's secrets. After her refusal to become a world noble and move to Marijuana, Lily was set to return to her home country, but mysteriously disappeared, but not before penning a letter and passing it down for generations of her family to come, telling them to protect the scattered poneglyphs. Lily's descendants would continue to rule Arabasta, with the last known ruler being Nefertari D. Cobra. Cobra was a kind and great king who deep deeply cared for his kingdom and its people. However, his reign witnessed a rebellion from its citizens due to the manipulation by former warlord Crocodile in his attempt to take over the country until Luffy along with his crew stopped his plan. Cobra met his unfortunate end at the hands of Imu and the Gorosei in order to silence him after he asked what happened to Lily and also the true meaning behind the D, but not before saving Luffy's brother Sabo and asking him to tell both Luffy and Vivi that the Nefertari family actually bears the initial D in their name. Cobra's death means that Nefertari D. Vivi is the last known member of the Nefertari family, making her the sole representative of the Nefertaris among the D-Clan members. Vivi is the current princess of Arabasta, an honorary member of the Straw Hat Pirates joining the crew in their journey from Reverse Mountain to the Arabasta Kingdom. Vivi deeply cares for Arabasta and prior to meeting the Straw Hats, infiltrated the criminal organization Baroque Works for a couple of years in order to protect her kingdom. Vivi is currently unaware of her identity as a D-Clan member, but her future involvement in the story as a D-Holder is certainly shaping up to be a big one. Next up is Portgast D-Ace. Ace's connection to the biggest names in history is a worthy
work of wonders. He is the biological son of the late Pirate King, adoptive son of Whitebeard, and was the Yonko's second division commander. His adoptive grandfather is the hero of the Marines, as well as being sworn brother to the Revolutionary Army's second-in-command Sabo and, of course, Monkey D. Luffy. Before Ace was born, Roger entrusted his Marine rival Garp to watch over his son on his behalf, and when he was born, Ace was given the name Goldie Ace by his mother. However, Ace himself instead chose to take on her name as a show of gratitude for her sacrifice. Ace was quick to rise as a pirate, forming his own crew, the Spade Pirates, challenging other powerful crews, proving his strength by fighting Jinbei to a tie for five days, and even refused an invitation to join the Seven Warlords of the Sea until he eventually joined the Whitebeard Pirates, proving his might once again, rising quickly to the ranks to become the crew's second division commander, and his overall reputation earned him a bounty of 550,000 berries. Ace fought and lost to another holder of the D initial, Blackbeard, in an event dubbed the Jewel on Banaro Island, which resulted in his capture and served as the catalyst for the Marineford War. Ace was a well-known pirate who met his unfortunate end at Marineford, where he was killed by then-Admiral Akainu while protecting his younger brother. Like all the Ds who came before him, Ace died with a smile on his face. However, his death is unique in a way that out of all the deceased D clan members, Ace was the only one whose death was shown to occur in the present rather than by way of a flashback. Ace is also unique in the sense that he's the only known individual who is parented by two D-Clan members. The man who defeated Ace, Marshall D. Teach, aka Blackbeard, is the captain of the Blackbeard Pirates. But prior to this, he too was a member of the Whitebeard Pirates. Since forming his own crew, Blackbeard has become a part of the Worst Generation, a former Warlord of the Sea, and is now considered to be one of the four Emperors of the Sea by virtue of being the ultimate ultimate opportunist, making him the only known D member to hold the title of both Warlord and Emperor. Even among those who hold the D initial, Blackbeard is unique in many ways. As one of the series' primary antagonists, Blackbeard is continuously found on the opposing side of other D clan members, fighting the likes of Luffy, Ace, Law, and even entered into a conflict with Dragon when he and his crew raided the Revolutionary Army's base at Baltigo. He is also different from the other D initial holders, being the only one to show fear of death, as well as being amoral, disloyal, and nihilistic. In terms of power, Blackbeard is the only one seen to hold the powers of two devil fruits, being the bearer of the Yami Yami no Mi, as well as the current holder of the late Whitebeard's destructive devil fruit, the Gura Gura no Mi. Blackbeard is the first D-Clan holder on this list that shows that not all D-Clan members are the same. And demonstrating that Ds come in all shapes and sizes, next up is Jaguar D. Saul. Jaguar D. Saul is a former Marine Vice Admiral and a giant. And although he has said that everyone in his clan has the D in their names, he's the only giant to be confirmed in the series so far to carry this initial. While Lily was the earliest D holder, Saul is currently the oldest known bearer of this initial, being over 100 years old. During his time as a marine, Saul encountered and captured Nico Olvia, who was searching for the mysterious and forbidden poneglyphs along with the other archaeologists of Ohara. After he was informed of the Buster Call target at O'Hara, Saul began doubting the world government and released Olvia. However, fate landed him at O'Hara due to a shipwreck where he met and befriended Olvia's daughter, Nico Robin, and warned her of the incoming battleships of the Marines. During the destruction of O'Hara, Saul protected Robin before being frozen by his friend and then Vice Admiral Kuzan. As he became enslaved in ice, Saul displayed a very D-like quality, laughing and smiling as he encouraged Robin to escape. Believed to be dead, Saul is currently in hiding after he was recently revealed to be alive and led a group of giants to retrieve the books that the scholars had thrown to the lake in an attempt to save them from the fires of the Buster Call, thereby salvaging an important piece of history, becoming one of the biggest keys to uncovering the secrets of the world. From one former marine to the best of them all, we have Monkey D. Garp. Garp is considered to be a living legend and one of, if not, the strongest marine of all time. He was Roger's main rival out of the Marines and one of the very few people capable of fighting him. Garp was even said to have cornered the late Pirate King multiple times throughout their careers. Garp also teamed up with Roger in what is now known as the God Valley Incident, taking down the Rocks Pirates, arguably the strongest pirate crew in history, captained by another D-Clan member in Rocks de Zebec, and featured Whitebeard, Kaido, and Big Mum, as well as many other legendary pirates. This feat earned Garp the title of Hero of the Marines. While sharing the great qualities
qualities that make D Clan members stand out. Garp's Marine Association finds him on the opposing side of other D Clan members, becoming one of Roger's biggest rivals. And with being most of the D Clan members being pirates, including his own grandsons Luffy and Ace, in addition to his own son Dragon, directly and actively opposing the world government. Out of all the current living bearers of the D initial, Garp is potentially the one who currently knows most about its history, having been involved in a number of situations with Goldie Roger. Garp's career as a marine is filled with legendary tales yet to be fully revealed, but from what we know of its highlights, Garp is a D with a story to tell. Next up is Garp's son and Luffy's father, Monkey D. Dragon. Dragon is a leader of the Revolutionary Army, and the man who is at the top of the world government's most wanted list, being dubbed as the world's worst criminal. Dragon directly opposes the Celestial Dragons, and his objective is to bring down the current system of the world government. The reason for his immense hatred of the world government is yet to be revealed, but his role as both a freedom fighter prior to then going on to form the Revolutionary Army definitely cements his status as an enemy of the gods. Dragon is tied to some of the most important events and characters, not only being part of the Monkey D family, but also such as being present at Goldie Rogers' execution and his friendship with Professor Clover and Dr. Vegapunk, not to mention all of the activities of the Revolutionary Army. As a very mysterious individual who we have not seen very much of, and yet boasting a fascinating backstory for his motivations, as well as for his big role in the story to come, Monkey D. Dragon is definitely one to look out for. Next, we have Trafalgar D. Water Law. Law is a member of the D Clan who has hidden this fact for most of his life, and still today, only a select few people are aware of his true name. Despite this being kept secret, Law has definitely lived up to the D initial, being involved with some of the most groundbreaking events in the world, including most recently his role in the overthrow of two of the Yonko, alongside his supernova captains Monkey D. Luffy and Eustace Kid, as well as taking down the former Shichibukai with his fellow D Clan member Luffy, and in that sense, quite literally opposing a former god in Doflamingo. In addition to events like the Rocky Port incident, which involved another D Clan member Blackbeard, and his role at the end of the Marineford War. Law also joins Blackbeard as a D Clan member who has also been one of the Shichibukai. Law is also one of the very few D Clan members who has expressed actual interest or even awareness of the special quality of his name. He is actively in search of the meaning of the will of D, making up his mind to uncover the secret behind this so called checkered fate. This search giving Law's character new purpose since taking down Doflamingo to avenge Corazon, as well as his legendary devil fruit, the Ope Ope no Mi, which amongst other things, is most well known for giving its user the ability to perform the immortality operation on another person, giving that person eternal youth in exchange for the devil fruit user's own life. This makes Law a very interesting character who will continue to have relevance in the final saga. A D Clan member who remains a great mystery and promises to be perhaps the greatest source of information for all the world secrets is Roxy Zebek. Interestingly, Zebek is another unique D Clan member who has opposed other D Clan members, being the antagonist of the God Valley incident against Goldie Roger and Monkey D Garp. This legendary battle, however, Zebek and God Valley have been expunged from history, with the world government wishing to hide all traces of this individual who is said to have been researching the world's taboos. While opposing the former pirate king and marine hero, Zebek seems to have, however, influenced another D in Blackbeard, whose ship is called the Saber of Zebek. Blackbeard's current base, Hachinosu, is also the island where the legendary rocks pirates form. And with the God Valley incident being one of the biggest events in the world's history, Zebek's history of opposing the world government, as well as his way in attracting followers, albeit for a yet unknown reason or methods, Zebek is an individual who definitely exemplifies the characteristics of the D Clan. Uncovering his true character in history may be the key to uncovering the meaning of the will of D, although it seems that he himself did not live to tell the tale. Another individual with the D initial who has unfortunately met her death is Portgas D. Rouge. Rouge is the mother of D Clan member Portgas D. Ace and the lover of late Pirate King and Ace's father, Goldie Roger. Rouge demonstrated her love for both men, managing to keep her pregnancy for a whole 20 months to ensure the survival of her unborn son out of sheer willpower. A fact that impressed Garp, whom she and Roger entrusted their child to, Garp agreeing to take care of Ace without revealing his true lineage. Bringing us to last but certainly not least, the Goldie Roger, who is the only 
known carrier of the D initial to have known its true meaning. Roger is an individual who can definitely be said to have been at the center of the world's biggest events. Aside from his involvement in the God Valley incident, he has achieved many other great feats that has earned him this legendary status. Roger was assigned the highest bounty ever recorded for a pirate and along with his crew are said to be the only people to have completely explored the Grand Line and reached the mysterious island Love Tale. The man known to have reached the pinnacle of piracy, Roger will be known as, to date, the only pirate king in history. With nothing left to achieve and being diagnosed with a fatal illness, Roger surrendered himself to the Marines and was sentenced for execution at his hometown, Logetown. His public execution was meant to be a warning to other pirates, but instead, Roger's final words gave birth to the new great era of piracy we know today, once again creating a world-shaking event signifying what it means to carry the will of D. Indeed, it was through the reveal of Goldie Roger's real name, previously thought to be Gold Roger, that we became aware of the will of D, and the fact that there is a special meaning behind this initial and those who bear it. All these D-marked individuals who in one way or another have left deep imprints in history and will no doubt contribute to the unearthing of all the world's greatest mysteries. And there you have it, all of the currently known D clan members. And as the meaning of the will of D remains a secret, if you have any ideas on its true meaning, then let me know by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. And thank you to all of our Patreon and channel members for your support. This is Joy Girl, and I'll see you again soon.